What's happening guys today we've got this beautiful lovely gtc for Lusa. so this is the v12 version as you guys can see um at the ferrari dealership there you've got <laughs> a roster of 488 but this one i think is the best value ferrari that you can get right now so this model was the facelift from the ff to the gtc for Lusso. the difference was this was modernized on the outside you've got the nice different lights different bumpers as well as the interior had a very much updated infotainment system this car is long it is very long i like how you've got that like long bonnet which still maintains that mid-engined ferrari tradition you've also got those carbon ceramics finish off with the yellow brembo brakes then you've also got the scuderia shield there i do love the gray color as well as that tan interior you've got the lovely glass roof as well and the daytona seats inside are a must as well then you've also got the the hips which are flared out then you've also got the scoop as you guys can see there with the spoiler there sorry the spoiler in the back then also on the back as well the tail lights are different then you've got that diffuser then as well as the formula one style brake light as well this thing is beautiful so i'm actually comparing this thing to a perisanger i know a lot of you guys are going to say oh but it's you know it's different yes it is different but at the same time you know these are four seater cars right guys this is interior so i'm six foot tall which is not that tall in the world currently but i feel comfortable so i've pushed the chair all the way back one thing i do love compared to the 488 is you kind of sit a little bit upright on this one which of course matches i guess the the function of the car it's meant to be kind of like an suv drive and also there's just more space for your legs there's just more space you know i'm not the smallest man but i feel like this has just got a lot more space so you've got the carbon package as well which is not the full carbon it's just the normal carbon package which means you get carbon on your on your steering wheel there you don't get carbon just you know on these you get leather so this person didn't inspect the car to the fullest which is fine Ferrari does sell this part so you're able to buy this car and configure it how you wanted wanted to look like and just get rid of all these pieces and get the carbon instead so one thing i do love i think it's just like the design language of this car is designed to be an everyday car that you can push and drive this car i think is probably like three years old and you can tell it's been well maintained and it's got twenty two thousand miles which is an a testament to the built quality of this car i do love all these little bits of like you know storage space you've got your cup holder space which is massive then that closes nicely as well then you've got your window controls then you've got the little center it's not even little it's kind of deep as well so you've got the center storage there which has got the nice led light as well you've got your usb for your apple carplay and android auto i don't like how it kind of bangs a little bit i'd love if that was a little bit soft then you've also got the display so you've got the rev counter there which comes in that analog setting then you've got your miles or kilometers which can be configured and you've got your temperature outside and all that good stuff and then you've also got controls as well so these buttons here control this side you're also able to increase as well as decrease the riding height of the car then this side also controls the screen over here then you've got all your buttons you know which you use every day wipers lights and all that good stuff as well so one thing about ferrari they've got the manatino switch which has been turned to icy as well as you guys can tell so i'm going to put it to sport so when i turn the car on it's just going to sound so loud and you've got the navigation system or the multimedia interface system which i'm not a fan of it's not very intuitive it's complicated then you've got these buttons over here i've just lost my airport mm -hmm. then you've also got like the label as well which says gtc for luso then you've got the screen as well for the passenger you just power that up so that will show you the rev counter the speed and the gears and the set as well so these guys are still able to see things like the g-force as well and all that so we're going to open the glove compartment which is very tiny as to be expected then you've got like a, a ubl sound system which is okay not the best then you've got your memory seat configuration so you've got up to three different presets you can set on this now one thing which stands out about this car is the roof it's got the panoramic roof which is beautiful or panoramic 
roof, which is lovely and beautiful. Especially, I think, in the wintertime, you know, it does get a bit dark. You need some light, and this provides that as well. This is a quick video, guys. It's not a long video. So I'm going to move on to the back as well. I will not go in the back. So this is the back, guys. So you've got the center control. These chairs are quite deep as well. Then you've got the vents as well, which are massive as well. You get the storage spaces as well. I've got to say, like, the back does look a little bit tight as well. So if you're someone who's, you know, on the bigger side, you might probably, you know, it's probably struggle, I guess, to be comfortable. I mean, this chair has been moved a little bit forward and you've got that space. In a Ferrari, are you taking the piss? That is crazy. So what we'll do is we'll get the car started and we'll just go from there. So I'll lower the windows and go from there.